clothing can be complimentary of like my body and stuff too but I just think specifically with the women I've dated like I've actually dated like women who I really admire like I said and so I, I almost like it's a little bit harder for me to like break the barrier into like romantic relationships with women or like romantic desire with women granted I've still <laughs> I've still experimented and I've definitely like made progress with that but it is a bit harder like when I really respect someone you know like kind of like getting into bed with them is like a whole different ball game for me I feel like um and like kind of playing with that is is new to me so whereas with men I just feel like it's like that's kind of the the starting point or like the the entry point with them. I don't know. I feel like I'm not explaining myself well. Maybe I should think about this before I talk about it. <laughs> I haven't really thought much about it, honestly. Like I thought about it long enough to realize that I needed to get off dating apps because it wasn't helpful to have so many options and also, I felt like I was being really, um, what's the word? Not egotistical, but what's the one where superficial? I felt like I was really focusing on like people's looks and that was like all that I was judging anyone on. And granted, that's my own fault, but I just realized it wasn't really making me into like, it wasn't leading to anything for me, so. So I stopped and now I'm alone and I've been alone for a long time now. And um, it's been good, honestly, it's been a good learning process for sure. But like, the thing is, I just, even like growing up, I don't know, like I wasn't attracted to girls in my class and stuff. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like an issue. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't like, I didn't have the same, I don't know, I didn't have like issues in school where I was like, like in girls' locker rooms or something, like looking at girls' bodies. Like I never romanticized or maybe not romanticized, how do I say that? Like sexualized women growing up, really. Um, so probably because it was taboo and because it was just not something that was like, um, in my mind at the time as like an, as even an option. So I definitely discovered it like later in life. I make dating guys sound so hard. You've been faithfully married for 28 years. Well, congratulations. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's y'all don't make it easy for us. Thank you so much. 41 wolves. It's a surprise for you, Richard. <laughs> Um, do you think they admired and respected you? Who? I'm not in love with anyone. <laughs> um, I am, I guess I am in a pensive mood. I don't know, Kara asked me like a really bold question. I'm just trying to give like an honest answer, but I don't know that I've really, I haven't really thought about this much. So I guess I'm just like thinking about it in real time. The time of me being single has been very crucial for my personal development in order to be open. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I would, I also kind of hate having to date right now. Um, Cara, I'm sorry, these are really personal questions that I don't feel comfortable answering like in, on live, but I appreciate you asking. I'm not gonna go into specifics or details about my personal relationships with either men or women, um, other than just like learnings, I guess, things I've learned. But I appreciate you asking and I appreciate your interest. Um, yeah, no comment, Casey. Hi. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I know I'm like, I'm trying to be open, but at the same time, like, you know, I gotta keep some things to myself. Um, but yeah, I think overall, like, I, it's absolutely, Cara, you're right, 100%. It's, um, being single has absolutely helped with like personal growth and development, but, um, but yeah, like, I think I also really struggle with like friendships with women. Like, like I, I tend to kind of lean toward just being friends with girls because that's like, again, kind of my baseline. And so bringing it into like that 
in my head, like sort of I've compartmentalized things, I think, like relationships with women and into like friendship category or like compartment. And so it's hard for me to like take someone out of the friend category once I've like gotten to know them a little bit and be like, oh, okay, wait, I see them as like a potential romantic partner. Um, or like, yeah, I can see myself like dating them and like, yeah. So I think that part's been really tricky. And then age is also a big one for me because, um, I've been in like age gap relationships before where like I'm the younger person and I've been kind of, um, I don't know, groomed is kind of a strong word, but like have been, um, I've been in that position before where like you don't know what you don't know, you know? So I think I also really fear, um, like taking advantage of someone who is like maybe less experienced or just has less life experience, man or woman. I think I just really struggle too with that. So that part has been really important for me to like establish boundaries that I'm comfortable with, with like who I would choose to date and like what age and you know, all that. Thank you, Gara. <laughs> I have not always been wholesome and there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> I think there's there's a lot of learning there that has come um, from my dating life. <laughs> but that's very sweet of you to say. I think I just yeah like I I think I want to protect both myself and like future like people I don't know people in my life. <laughs> I just want to make sure everybody's like happy and healthy and taken care of because I know what it's like to not feel that in a relationship or not feel that with someone. So I think for now, like my biggest priority is like safety and security and making sure that people feel good around me. And I think that's kind of like the baseline for me. And then, like I said, the kind of romantic thing is like a little bit more, it's like in a different category that I've just kind of set aside for now. I think wholesome is a word used to restrict people from living their best lives. Interesting. Hmm. Wholesome. I don't know. I think you can be, I don't know, maybe. I think maybe you can be wholesome without like, or you can use the word wholesome and be considered wholesome without like being restricted necessarily. Or maybe innocent is like a word that I feel a little bit restricted by sometimes. But wholesome I think is kind of sweet. I take it as a compliment. Um, but I mean, let's just say this, like I'm not a saint, right? <laughs> So, and I don't want it to, I don't want to get it twisted. I don't want anyone to like think that I'm just, you know, out here doing the Lord's work. Cause like, I mean, in a way I am <laughs> by dating men, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but you know, it's, um, I think I see it as a compliment and I don't know if I see it as like completely restricted, totally slowed down my routine. <laughs> it's okay. I really don't mind. I like it. I like you asking me questions. I really appreciate the, the your questions are very contemplative. Like it causes me to really have to like sit and think for a second. So it's not like the easiest like chat topics, but I really do value your, your questions. They're very valuable questions and they're very real and honest and they force me to be real and honest with myself, which I don't always get to do. So scared when I said, asking personal questions and I started answering. <laughs> well, I just mean specifics, like getting into specifics is a little where I kind of draw the line a little bit, but <laughs> people that judge your lifestyle will never be there when it counts. Mm, true. Milky Way. Nice. Thank you for my rose. Thanks for all the follows, everyone. Okay, I feel like I'm good on my makeup. I'm feeling confident about that. Let's move forward. I think maybe a little bit more concealer on my nose just because I have some like little, little um, acne right there. Let's make that disappear and then I have to finish packing. I'm already like almost done. I just have to finish my bathroom stuff. Well, you were asking like what age and like, you know, then Casey was asking about like, um, 
how old was, yeah, like how old was I and have I ever, you know what I mean? It's like, I just, I wouldn't talk about it whether it was like a guy or a girl. It's just kind of, I don't know, I can't decide. Sometimes I struggle with like, how much do I share, you know? Should I just be like an open book and tell you everything? <laughs> embarrassing and all or should I take some things with me to the grave how long until we find out where you're going I think I'm gonna share on not today but tomorrow I don't want to say where I'm going but I'm in Croatia right now explaining wait enjoy my responses because I'm really good at explaining even though I think I'm not okay yeah <laughs> thank you Carl <laughs> thanks I meant like college uni adult life Okay, gotcha. Well, no, no, it's okay. Um, yeah, I think it's, again, it's a tricky question to answer because like, then I have to get into specifics to be able to answer that question appropriately. But, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, that's a tough one. <laughs> I don't know is the answer, is the true answer. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I know, Richard. Can't keep up. Thank y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna go get changed really quick and then I'm gonna finish out my hair, finish putting everything in my little cow pack, travel thingy. And then we're gonna be, we're gonna hit the road, Jack. And I am not coming back. I think with my intuition, I already know, so we can leave it at there. Okay, yeah, you could guess. You can, you can infer, I feel like. Um, I think you probably, if like, yeah, most, I don't know. I just think you, most people get it, I hope. Maybe not. Ciao, ciao. Be blessed. Thank you. I will. Similar experiences. <laughs> yeah, I would think. I would think. The girls get it. The girlies get it. I think most women have had those experiences, you know? 